Hey there friends, thanks for checking in. Today we're looking at an armed robbery. It looks like it took place at a restaurant where two guys entered. One was armed with a rifle. We can't tell what kind of rifle, but it did have a scope on it. The other person looked to be unarmed. The rifleman went straight behind the counter and started demanding the cash from the cash drawers and was telling the employee to open the safe meanwhile the other person went to the four patrons at the place he had them stand against the wall and then he went behind the counter to rob the place now they kept saying open the safe the young employee who cooperated with the cash drawers said he did not have the comb to the safe they took everything from the cash drawers they flipped over the trays went back to the four people asked for their belongings by this point they already put their belongings on the table they scooped those belongings up whatever they were most likely cash wallet whatever and then they went to exit at that point one of the patrons was armed he had to charge his slide he did not have a round in the chamber so dangerous when seconds matter, you want to give yourself every advantage possible and having to take that additional time to charge a round could be actually deadly. But in this case, it wasn't deadly, but he charged around and fired what I counted to be eight shots at these people as they were fleeing. I don't know if either of these guys were hit, but the one thing that really caught me was how he waited and waited and he waited till their backs were turned and fleeing, which is very dangerous. So the question I have for you, was this a defensive shooting that was justified or was it reckless? The armed citizen did a few things that were very wrong. First off, he had to charge a round. And I thought that was just amateur night. You know, I, I've always said you have to carry with a round in the chamber if you want to be as effective as possible with your firearm. Secondly, he waited. He waited way too long. At that point, their lives were not in danger. They were in no danger of great bodily harm. The robbers were leaving. So he's going to have to justify why he used his firearm when they were not in danger. And, and then thirdly, he took eight shots and then he blew out the window, which I believe cost more than any money that was in the cash drawer to begin with. So it is my opinion, especially because this was all captured on video, that this guy has a lot of questions to answer. And I believe that a jury of his peers will find him guilty of of being reckless with his firearm and to top it off to fire recklessly through the window out into the public where a law-abiding citizen could have gotten injured if that happened this guy's going to jail possibly even prison but he is definitely in my opinion going to face some charges especially because there is a video recording all of this and it will most likely be used against the armed citizen. So in my opinion, it was reckless. It was careless. Once people's backs are turned as upset as you are that they stole your property and the property of the restaurant, you cannot fire once the threat has been eliminated, either by you as the armed citizen or by a choice of their own by exiting that establishment. Those are my thoughts. I want to know what your thoughts are. If you like videos like this, please subscribe and share. I always appreciate the thumbs up button. Thanks for watching and you guys be safe.